Well, the first train to travel on the Napier to Wairua line in six years is being heralded as a new spring for Kiwi Rail. After storm damage closed the track in 2012, the line is reopening thanks to $5 million in funding from the government's Provincial Growth Fund. And while the full track won't be in use until November, the first trip on the repaired line to Eskdale is being celebrated as a start of bigger things to come. Here's our Hawke's Bay reporter, Anusha Bradley. It had all the pomp and ceremony fit for a king, but it was the Regional Economic Development Minister Shane Jones, along with a load of crushed rock, that was the precious cargo carried by the first train to travel on the repaired track. Wearing a personalised high-vis jacket and shiny new work boots bought just for the occasion, Mr Jones admits his graceful descent from the train was not left to luck. To be honest with you, they did make me practice up the road out, out of earshot and eyesight of your good selves. <laughs> After an official blessing and a serenade by the Ratana Brass Band, the train was off. While this train was only going 15 kilometres up the line to the rural settlement of Estale, Mr Jones says it marks a significant milestone. Oh, well, it's symbolic. We're laying down the foundation stones for a brighter future for Kiwi Rail. You talked a lot about how this was the spring for Kiwi Rail. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, the uh, Tuafenua Provincial Growth Fund uh, has a significant commitment to grow Kiwi Rail because this government has the financial capital and the political will to turn their commercial proposals into an economic and political reality. The money's coming from the $1 billion a year Provincial Growth Fund. That's part of the coalition agreement between Labour and New Zealand First. The Napier to Wairoa line was closed by Kiwi Rail on December 4, 2012, following storm damage. Wayne Kempton drove that last train back to Napier and remembers it well. Yeah, it was a pretty emotional day. Um, yeah, but I always thought we would go back there. I always thought eventually we would go back to some point. And the day we go back to Gisborne, I can drive out of Tunnel 23 and oversee the Peach Loop would be even better. However, Shane Jones isn't sure that'll happen anytime soon. And as much as I would like to wave my political wand at this stage, I'll, I'll be guided by um, by Kiwi Rail. And I thought, well, if we could if we could achieve a bit of credibility by getting back to Whitehall and then not give up on Gisborne, but um, at the same time not make a arbitrary political decision because at the end of the day Kiwi Rail have to run the business. But the putea is there in the event that a suitable case is submitted by Kiwi Rail. Kiwi Rail's chief executive Peter Reedy says it's already spent $3 million of government money getting the line to Wairoa up to scratch. Within 12 months, we're looking to get two to three trains a week. Um, it's really, we're going to set up a marshalling yard, forestry marshalling yard up in Wairoa. Uh, so we're going to lease the land up there, set that up, work with the forestry owners, work with the port. So within 12 months, we'll see more logs on the trains coming through the port. And Peter Reedy says this means more jobs. Yeah, we're, we're actually, uh, today, we're talking to the Minister of Social Development. We, there will be some jobs we'll be looking at. And we're talking to the Minister of Social Development right across New Zealand for job opportunities as we open up. Because this is just the start. With the Provincial Growth Fund, as Minister Jones has said, there's a lot more to come. And now we've got a big team working on this to open up more uh, regional economic activity. Once it's completed, Kiwi Rail estimates the reinstated track will take 5,500 logging trucks off the road each year. In Napier for Checkpoint, Anusha Bradley.